Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking all about Uber and its future. So the question is, is Uber's unstoppable momentum that it's experiencing over the last few months, is it about to face its greatest challenge yet? Or could it be on the verge of revolutionizing the future of transportation? So first of all, Strong financial results, just giving you a little update on what's come out recently um, on their latest earnings call. The recent performance, Uber's reported strong, strong financial results for Q2, which ended June 30th. They beat Wall Street estimates for revenue and diluted earnings per share or, e or EPS. And this resulted in a sharp increase in stock price following the announcement. I mean, just check out the stock graph and you can see that Uber stock has really blown up recently. The Uber's forward price to earnings or PE ratio is 30 as of August 7th, and that's a little bit high. But in this video, I wanna give you three things to consider about Uber right now. If, if, you're, if you own Uber stock, if you're thinking about buying stock, maybe you already have stock and you're looking to buy more stock, maybe you're thinking about selling, let me tell you these three things, guys, because this is absolutely crazy what's about to happen with Uber. All right, so first of all, they have, they've experienced incredible momentum over the last few months. Look at their revenue growth, absolutely insane. Revenue increased by 16% year over year, gross bookings up 19%. Monthly active user or MAU count has increased by 14%. When it comes to cost management, they've done it, guys. Their operating expenses increased only 11%, which is lower than their revenue growth, which is something you really want to see. Their operating margin expanded from 3.5% in Q2 2023 to 7.4% this year. Absolutely insane, guys, that they have doubled, more than doubled their operating margin in one year. Uber shares have increased by 165% since the start of 2023, which is absolutely mind-blowing. If you bought Uber back in at the beginning of 2023, leave a comment down below and flex on everybody because that's insane. All right, um, they, I mean, it outperformed the S&P 500. It's outperformed the NASDAQ. Significant improvement in their key metrics since Q3 2019. So that's number one, guys. Incredible momentum that this company is experiencing right now. Number two is that they are competitively strong. They have a wide moat between them and the competition, and it's due to their localized network effects. Uber's been benefiting from these localized network effects. For example, the rider and driver pools are market specific. They've seen strong, a strong first mover advantage which has made it difficult for new entrants to gain market share. I mean, when it comes to ride sharing, Uber is ride sharing. When you think of, you know, I, I wanna call a ride share, you don't think that way. You think I'm gonna call an Uber. Uber has become like its own noun, like its own version of what you're doing, its own verb that I'm gonna Uber, I'm gonna get an Uber, right? Even if you're not using the company Uber, you're still getting an Uber. Their competitive strength is compared to other successful platform businesses like Alphabet, Meta, Airbnb, Etsy. Uber is the top of its industry, at the very top. All right, that's number two, competitive strength. Number three is the big one, guys, and it comes with a huge question mark, and that is the autonomous future. Yeah, all right, let's talk about the potential opportunity first. So autonomous vehicles could benefit Uber because they are already the leading ride hailing app. So because they've got that first mover advantage, because they're already number one, they're already at the top, maybe they're primed and positioned well for when these autonomous vehicles come in. And they're coming in, guys. Don't, don't even think that autonomous vehicles will never happen. It's already happening. Tesla has shown us this. Google has shown us this, all right? It's going to happen. It is happening. There will be a future where autonomous vehicles run the roads of America's highways, the world's highways. Uh, partnerships like uh, Alphabet's Waymo with Uber highlight this potential growth that could happen 
because of AI. So it could be very good. Uber could take their lead, capitalize it, and revolutionize the future of ride sharing. Um, in fact, I mean, I think that that's a high likely. There's a high likelihood of that happening. Uh, here's the threat. Here's the question mark. Here's where it all turns around. The emergence of fully autonomous vehicles could lead to competition from the people who are creating the AI. Instead of partnering with Uber, maybe they say, hey, we want to start up our own company. I'm thinking Tesla. Tesla has already made comments and statements about that in the past. Companies like Tesla or Alphabet could 100% set up their own companies with their own cars with, that offer ride sharing services and kind of just push Uber out of it. Or maybe they buy Uber. Such comp competition might bypass Uber completely if these companies offer lower cost ride sharing services. Very well to happen. All right, so AI is giving us a big question mark when it comes to Uber. The question is, the, the other question, I get the side question is, when? What is the time frame for this? Because if you're already invested in Uber, maybe you're thinking, well, man, maybe I want to like capitalize on this huge momentum and I want to get out before the big question mark of AI happens. What's the time frame? Well, full adoption of autonomous vehicles is likely a long way off because we still have regulatory consumer confidence challenges that are plaguing that new industry. So I think it's going to be quite a few years. In the meantime, Uber is probably going to continue powering on because of this incredible momentum that they um, are experiencing. So Uber could go way up before AI and then AI literally could drive it even farther up. I think that Uber is going to have a future. I think that my call is that Uber is either going to capitalize on AI and it's just going to revolutionize uh, transportation or they're going to be acquired by an AI company that buys Uber, buys Uber's base, or they get pushed aside. But I think the first two are maybe more likely. So if you're an investor consider considering buying Uber shares, weigh the company's strong financial performance, their growth prospects against the future potential challenges in the autonomous vehicle space. But anyway, guys, that's all for today. Hey, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos like this. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen with Uber because of AI. All right, guys, y'all take it easy. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.